Welcome to another special Hornbill TV Explainer, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Al Nuli. Social media has made people famous. It has also created a generation of youth that feed off delusions and a sense of unverifiable accomplishment that thrives only on self-validation, not an actual feat of significance or achievements. Oftentimes, these personality facets have often shown undesirable expression of our personalities, ladies and gentlemen. It's easy to lose our best sights, our best gifts to vanity, narcissism, and delusions in our hunger for attention and validation. This could sometimes destroy reputations and even divide people in real life. You may notice that I say social media and youth. Now, computers arrived in Nagaland only during the late 90s, ladies and gentlemen. Gradually, the internet began to gain popularity during the early 2000s. If there is anyone watching, any one of you who used to pay 10 rupees to browse the internet at Sumit and Sujit's Cyber Cafe at Christian Higher Secondary School Junction, uh, at Church Road, I think, in Dimapur, say hello. Now the internet has become omnipresent. It has become an indispensable part of our lives in all its intrusive ways, ladies and gentlemen. If you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you'd know that the concept of celebrities, the idea of fame and famous people from among the Naga people was a foreign idea. It was as foreign as going abroad for the Naga people those days. The idea of being well-known was greatly different from the idea of being famous the way we know today. Awards, achievements, press and media relevance and media prominence. In fact, you could actually confidently count the number of famous Naga people who had prominence and influence in terms of national and international recognition, especially in the media, ladies and gentlemen, those days. It was extremely few, extremely few. It was rare to see a Naga name or Naga face in national or international magazines or newspapers during those times that was not a political face or a political name. Political names were everywhere those days, of course. S.C. Jamir, the former chief minister and governor, was there everywhere. Muiva and Kaplang of the NSCN factions, they were everywhere all the time. The Naga political issue was everywhere too. But there was practically none to very few Naga people with any relevance in the arts and literary world, media, music, or even sports. There were practically none to few Naga people on television or newspapers uh, back then until the 2000s. In fact, a very large chunk of Naga newspaper content until the early 2000s was purely political. Everything was political. The NSCN IMs, the NSCN Ks, the political uh, parties, people being shot, people being kidnapped. The fact that it was always covered in political issues and political content speaks how much the Naga people lost their artistic, literary, sporting and academic capital before the internet arrived. Nagaland is still new to this whole celebrity and culture of fame thing, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we can compare. One of the first Naga people who actually achieved anything was the footballer Dr. T. Au. In fact, most of us even learn about Dr. T. Au only in college or when we began traveling outside to study or when we started being exposed to the media outside, ladies and gentlemen. If you were born in the 80s and 90s, you know what I'm talking about. Later in the 1980s, a martial artist called Israel Khuivi was featured in Indian newspapers and that was a huge thing those days. Mr. Israel Khuivi was properly, uh, probably one of the very first non-political Naga person to be featured 
in the national media, ladies and gentlemen. He created a record in the Limca, books, uh, Limca Book of Records in India for the highest number of kicks in a certain category. I think Mr. Israel is today a police officer in the Nagaland police. So he was one of the earliest Naga people from a non-political background to be featured in a national news publication, ladies and gentlemen. Then, about 19 years ago, there were several Naga persons who were the most searched people from the Northeast on Google search. These days, if they, find, if, if they don't find you on Google search, then you're not really the famous. Okay, anyway, jokes aside. If you are a web data cruncher or a search analytics enthusiast, this might interest you. Now, during the first decade of the millennium, that is the early 2000s, these people were the most searched Nagas on the internet. One was Chief Minister Nifirio. The second most searched Naga related thing was this phrase, Naga political issue. This was the second most searched phrase on Google search during that time. The third was Nagaland page editor and journalist Mona Lisa Chankicha. And the fourth most searched Naga person during the time was also a journalist. He was a certain Naga reporter who was working with the Morong Express during the time. Anyway, everything is very new to us, ladies and gentlemen. We are just an extremely young new society learning new things about the world only now. Something that having, uh, some believe that having 100,000 followers on social media or releasing a YouTube video uh, makes us celebrities and famous. We have absolutely no idea how wrong we are. Soon, during the 90s and the early 2000s, some Nagas began finding fame, at least in the region. There were these writers, Rita and Agnes Krucha, and there was, of course, Istari Niralu. She was already famous even before the internet boom, of course. And then fashion designer, Bambi Kevichusa, she slowly began to get a lot of media space. And there was this early singer, Nise Mirono. Local musical legends, Metani Leangami was already well known during the time locally in the state, uh, during the 80s too. But he was not widely considered relevant the way he is today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, there were also a number of peace activists, for instance, social workers Nikitu Iralu and Reverend Dr. Wati Ayer. These are some of the people that started gaining a lot of media attention unlike the way it used to be in Naglin those days. In fact, the rock band Divine Connection was the first local band to ever be featured on the front page of any newspaper in Naglin. It was in the Morong Express. Before them, the only rock band that ever found itself in the national media often was the band called Abiogenesis, when they were a proper rock band. They used to really have heart-hitting songs and relevant songs those days. Anyway, then the uh, local singer Alobu Naga came much, 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 much later, only during 2009, 2010 or so, when his band uh, found a spot on the music channel VH1. Now, the explosion of social media and the growth of journalistic platforms and news houses in the region and India, of course, worked in favor of the young. Now, those days, People worked hard to be seen by the media, ladies and gentlemen. The media would in turn publicize notable stories and their work and their life before the society. But that changed when the internet came. When the internet came, everything changed. You no longer needed to do anything special or achieve some great feat or work hard for people to notice you because anyone could use social media the way they wanted. Internet technology changed everything. Suddenly the thirst for attention began. That is where it all started going wrong, ladies and gentlemen. A famous person is a celebrity, but a celebrity is not necessarily always a famous person. Think about that. 
The two terms celebrity and famous are used randomly and interchangeably, especially by the younger in internet generations, ladies and gentlemen. The definitions are often thin and blurred that it's difficult to differentiate each in black and white. Of course, a person can be both famous and a celebrity at the same time for notable achievements they may have accomplished. However, there are certain historical, cultural conventions, social thoughts, media and press standards, and certain parameters for industry recognitions that define who a celebrity is and or how famous a person is. There are certain rules to it in that sense. These parameters indicate that the definitions are not the same. I think the most perfect definition of the difference between being famous and being a celebrity is from a journalist on Quora. Uh, I think his name was Peter Hendricks. Celebrities are people for whom being famous, wanting to be famous or walking towards being famous is the main objective. So they work towards being famous, which is actually the core of their efforts. It is an important part of what they do. Social media influencers, for instance, Instagram uh, kings and queens, and social media users with internet flags, and even singers and even actors. So these are some of those people. For instance, people in the media consider Paris Hilton or the Kardashians as celebrities, but the media don't really consider them achievers. However, according to some, of course, famous people are already celebrities. They are generally, generally mostly achievers and people with measurable uh, accomplishment. And they are famous not for being visible, they are being seen and heard actually. They're known widely for creating something impactful for the society. Their fame comes from having achieved something notable. Please note that, ladies and gentlemen. There are people who also believe that their fame did not come from leveraging the tools of self-publicity. For instance, if you go to YouTube and you start your own channel, you don't have to be famous. Suddenly you get views, not because you're famous, because, but because you're on Facebook or, or because you're on YouTube. So that's, that's the reason I'm saying it's very easy to be famous these days. They don't necessarily work, anyway, the achievers, they don't necessarily work towards being a celebrity or being famous. For instance, scientists, inventors, political figures, industrial professionals, academicians, teachers, spokespersons, author, uh, authors, journalists, or researchers, etc., etc. These are the people. They are famous, widely known for doing something that brought them fame. That is not only accepted, but is also validated and accredited both by the larger society, and they are also validated by important social voices such as mainstream media and institutions. Generally, again, while the definition might be a little subjective, ladies and gentlemen, this group of celebrities or famous people is considered more legitimate than just people who became famous by having their face on social media or Instagram or in that way. Winning a Nobel Prize, writing an important book, winning medals at national and international sporting events, these all can make you famous but they're considered more relevant. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be talking more about this later on. See you next time.